Hello and welcome to part 1 of the video tutorial Safety for Codices. My name is Volker Marx from Kendrian Kunke Automation and in this video I will show you what you need to write your first Codices safety program. Let's start with the hardware. First, let me show what hardware you need. What you definitely need is a Codesys Safety PLC. That is the FSOE Master. Of course, I use our product, the Kuhnke Fio Safety PLC. There are two ways to use a safety PLC with Codesys. Option 1. Use one of our modular Codesys PLCs from the Fio series. Option 2. You can connect our safety PLC to your own Codesys PLC via our FIO bus coupler. That's enough if, for example, you want to use servo drives with FSOE. Optional, of course, you can use one of our digital safety IOs. Let me show you which hardware I use in this demo. The hardware components for this tutorial are a Kuhnke Fio bus coupler, a Kuhnke Fio safety PLC and a Kuhnke Fio safety I.O. module. As PLC I use the Codesys wind control. And now I show you which software components you need. Here you need three things. First, the recommended version of Codesys. This is currently version 3.5.14, patch 40. Can be downloaded from the Codesys store. The link is store.codesys.com. Please download and install this version. Secondly, the matching safety package. It can be downloaded from our customer portal. Please send an email to control technology minus ICS at kendrion.com. And finally, the Codesys ESI files for the bus coupler and the safety I.O. The safety I.O. is optional and is used in this demo, but you need at least one bus coupler. The download link is productfinder.kuhnke.kendrion.com. I will show you now how you can download the ESI files. OK. If you are on the page of the Product Finder, you can choose the language in the top right corner. In the column Control Technology, you can find the point Modular I.O. Terminals. Click on it. Then first choose the bus coupler and click on Details. In the download section you can find the ESI file. Click on it for download and save this file. Then go back and choose the FIO safety I.O. For this demo I use the I.O. with four digital inputs and two digital outputs. Click on details and download the ESI file in the same way. Save this file. Please don't forget to extract these files and remember the folder. You have all the software components? Fine! Then I will show you how the installation works. Step 1. Install the code as a safety extension package. Start Codesys and then go to Tools, Package Manager. Then click on Install and navigate to the Codesys Safety Package for Kendrion. Choose this package, Open, takes a few seconds.
and then accept the license agreement. Next, choose a typical setup, click on Next. Next. Now the package will be installed. The installation may take a few minutes, so we continue to the next step. Then click on Finish. Then go to Tools, Device Repository. Click on Install and navigate to the downloaded ESI files. I hope you have memorized the folder, otherwise good luck finding it. Select the Kuhnke EsaCAD modules all and if you have our Safety I.O., also the Kuhnke Fio Safety ESI file and click on Open. And then on Close. Congratulations! Now you are ready to write your first safety program. Before I show you how to write a safety program in part 2 of this tutorial, please restart Codesys to apply the changes. Hope to see you in part 2 of this tutorial.